Try to stay with the breath. Watch out for any inclination to go someplace else. Because wherever you're going, the Buddha said we go with our cravings as our friend. And the problem with craving is it doesn't come along just one, one friend. Drags along a lot of other companions. It's like those people who, when the days when we would have guests coming to stay, they'd call up and say, "Do you have a space?" And we'd look at the calendar. Yes, there was one space. So we say, "Okay, you can come." And then they would say, "Okay, I'm bringing along five friends." Craving is like that. You crave something, and you realize that. It, that thing that you crave has a world in which it exists. And in order to get it, you have to take on an identity in that world. You suddenly find yourself committed to all kinds of things. Make another comparison. It's like, it's like getting married and suddenly realize you have in-laws. Because with the craving, there's a the clinging. With the clinging, there's birth, aging, illness, death. And if you decide you don't like that, well, you can crave non-becoming, but then craving is going to take you back to another state of becoming. It's got you surrounded on all sides. So we meditate to get out of that, that dilemma. As the Buddha said, if you go for becoming, it's going to lead to more becoming. If you go for non-becoming, it's going to lead to more becoming. If you go for sensuality, it's going to lead to becoming. So where are you going to go? So you just learn how to look at things as they arise and see them as a process. This gives rise to that, that gives rise to this. And you begin to see that the process is all very makeshift, very unreliable, very tenuous. And you begin to lose all interest. So you don't have to destroy the becomings, the becomings end on their own. And as long as you don't get interested in terms of becomings, then you're fine. Now this sounds fairly abstract, but it's basically what happens when the mind drops the breath and goes for something else. It's like taking birth in that little world, and then you go off. And if you realize that you don't like that and you want to destroy it, well, it gets you into another world, another world. But if you realize that, I can just pull out. I don't have to get involved in the process. See it as a process. And that's the door out. So this is why we practice right concentration together with right view. Concentration gives us a quiet place where we can see this process clearly. Otherwise, we just go through it day after day after day without any clear sense of what's happening. But when the mind is still, you can see, see it happening. And when you have right view about this, that these are things you have to watch out for when you recognize your craving as a cause of suffering. Then you can start pulling out of that friendship. It's only then that you're really free.